Hi everyone, I'm Pratik, and in this video we're going to be looking at the TNM classification, which is a method of classifying cancers. If you want to see more educational videos similar to this, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel. The TNM classification is a method of staging a cancer, so it's looking at how big the primary cancer is, where it is spread to locally in terms of lymph nodes, and also if it is spread to any other parts of the body. Staging a cancer is very different from grading a cancer. Grading is where we look at how similar the cells of the cancer are to normal healthy cells, and this is handled in a different way. So, the TNM system has three parts to it. We have T, which is the tumour, and this looks at the size of the tumour as well as the depth of invasion of the tumour. We have N, which is the lymph nodes, and this looks at whether the cancer is spread to lymph nodes, how many lymph nodes, the size of the lymph nodes, and whether the cancer is broken out through the lymph node or extranodal extension. And then we have M, which is metastasis, and this is looking at whether the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. This form of staging is used for all cancers of the body. However, in this video, for simplicity, we're going to be focusing on cancers of the oral cavity. Additionally, we'll be looking at the TNM-8 system, which was put in place in 2018. Currently, in most staging, both the TNM-7 and the TNM-8 systems are used. However, I will discuss what the key differences are between the TNM-7 system and the TNM-8 system towards the end of this video. So let's first look at T, the tumour. We have TX, this is where the tumour cannot be evaluated. We then have TIS, which is a carcinoma in situ, and this is simply a very early cancer that hasn't spread through more than one layer of the tissue. Then we have T1. This is where the tumour at its greatest dimension is no greater than two centimetres. Additionally, the depth of which the tumour has invaded, or the depth of invasion, is no greater than five millimetres. So we have a maximum tumour dimension of two centimetres or less, and a maximum depth of invasion of five millimetres or less. We then have T2, and this is where either the tumour is two centimetres or less in its greatest dimension, but between five and 10 millimetres in terms of depth of invasion, or a tumour is sized in its greatest dimension between two centimetres and four centimetres, but the depth of invasion is no greater than 10 millimetres. We then have T3, and this is where the tumour is either greater than four centimetres in its greatest dimension, or any tumour that has a depth of invasion greater than 10 millimetres. And then we have T4. T4 is essentially a moderately or very advanced cancer. So in the oral cavity we have T4A, and this indicates a tumour that has invaded into surrounding tissues. So for example, in the oral cavity, it may have spread into the mandible, it may have spread into the sinuses. We also have T4B, where the tumour has spread even further and has gone into the muscles of the face, or alternatively has gone to the skull base. Additionally, it could be surrounding vital arteries. This essentially indicates a very advanced cancer. Now let's look at the lymph node involvement. And for this, lymph nodes can be assessed clinically or pathologically. So clinically would be when a patient first presents to you and you assess them. And it is kind of the feel that you get when you're assessing their lymph nodes. Pathological staging is done once the surgery is carried out and we actually physically look at the lymph nodes to see how significant the cancer was. So for the purposes of this video, I'll be looking at the pathological lymph node staging for oral cavity cancers. Again, we have an NX. This is where the lymph nodes could not be evaluated. We then have N0, which is that there is no lymph node involvement whatsoever. We then have N1. This is where the cancer has spread to a single lymph node on the same side, or the ipsilateral side, of the primary tumour. Additionally, the node is no greater than three centimetres in size, and there is no extranodal extension. So extranodal extension, previously referred to as extracapsular spread, is where the cancer has essentially burst out of the lymph node and is impacting surrounding tissues. Next, we have N2A. Again, there are two potential scenarios for this. So the first one is that we have a single lymph node on the same side as the primary tumour that is still three centimetres or smaller but there is extranodal extension. Alternatively, it could be a single lymph node on the same side of the tumour between three and six centimetres, but it hasn't got any extranodal extension. Next, we have N2B. This is where there is more than one lymph node that has been affected by the cancer on the same size of the tumour, but none of these lymph nodes are greater than six centimetres in size. Additionally, there is no extranodal extension. We have N2C, where the cancer is spread to more than one lymph node on either side of the body, so the ipsilateral and contralateral side, but none of the lymph nodes are greater than six centimeters in size. Again, there is no extranodal extension. Next stage up, we have 
N3A. N3A is where there is any single lymph node that is greater than 6 centimeters in size and there isn't any extranodal extension. And finally, we have N3B. N3B essentially focuses on extranodal extension. So in N3B, we either have a single lymph node on the same side as the tumor that is greater than three centimeters in size and has extranodal extension, or the cancer could have spread to many lymph nodes and of these, one of them has extranodal extension, or there is extranodal extension of a single lymph node on the opposite side of the tumor, so the contralateral side, but this is three centimeters or less in size. So that looks at the end stages. And finally, we have M, which is metastasis. And this is relatively straightforward. So we have M0, where the cancer has not spread to other parts of the body, or M1, where the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. And this makes up the TNM classification. So if we had an example of a T2, N1, M0 cancer, this would be a tumour that is two centimetres or smaller in its maximum dimension, but has a depth of invasion between five millimetres and 10 millimetres, or a tumour that is between two centimetres and four centimetres in its maximum dimension, but a depth of invasion less than 10 millimetres. We have the M1. This would be a single ipsilateral lymph node that is no greater than three centimetres in size and has no extranodal extension, and we have M0. So the M0 means that there is no distant metastasis. Now I mentioned at the start of the video that this is the TNM8 system. So between the TNM8 and the TNM7 system, there are two key differences for cancers of the oral cavity. The first one is that we look at the depth of invasion in the T stage. So looking how far that cancer has gone into the tissues. And the second big one is that we now look at extranodal extension in the NERD stage. So looking at whether the cancer is spread out of the local lymph nodes. The reason these two things are included in the classification system now is that we know that they are important prognostic factors with regard to patient's cancer and will have quite a big impact on the likelihood of success of any treatment. My recommendation in this video is the Clinical Problem Solving and Dentistry book. This book is excellent for any viva preparation, particularly those who are coming towards finals. I know when I was in dental school, I struggled with vivas a fair amount. However, this book takes you through step by step on how to answer viva questions and it's a book that I always recommend to final year students. If you found this video useful, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions of any other videos that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below or contact me on one of the social media handles. Until the next video, take care.